hey, welcome back. What if you've got a really long page, like 14 sections, all of them full height screens, loads and loads of content, or a blog post that just goes on and on and on? You don't want to affect the reader's user experience with them going, how long is this post? When will it end? You know, I need to go and have something to eat. Sometimes it's good to let them know. You're 75% of the way through. Hang on in there, you're near the end. For either conversions or just for their experience. You can now do that with the progress tracker in Elementor. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're on your page, you've got, you've got your website, lots and lots of topics, items, whatever. And you want, some, you want them to know that you're now near the end. If you go over to your widgets and we type in progress, there it is. Progress bar is something different. Don't forget, we're looking at the progress tracker. Now, if you're gonna stick this on your page, you gotta think about, it's got to be forever visible on the page, if that makes sense. And there's many ways you could do that. I've got a section and I'm just gonna drop the progress tracker in. Now at the moment, we're not actually really seeing much there. It is there, by the way, okay? I'm just gonna put the direction on the left so it moves across to the right. Uh, we'll have it as percentage and we'll put the percentage position on the left as well. Now you can set this okay to be horizontal or circular and we'll test out both of them in a moment. Well, in fact, we'll do the horizontal for now, just so you can see it. And you can decide, is it only gonna be the entire page or is it the content of a post? So if you've got a post blog and you drop it in, it will only do it for the post, not the entire page. I'm gonna do it for the entire page for now, okay? You can also do selector as well. So this is where if you've got a class of a section, so let's say um, within the website, I've got like loads of images or contents, I could stick it in there, give that uh, section or the content a class ID, you put your class ID in there, and now it will only activate or be telling you the progress for that particular section, not section, I keep saying that, for that particular class or item. That's if you wanna do that. I'm gonna go for entire page for now, and in terms of style, we'll do the style progress color, we'll go for a purple color, and the tracker background, we'll go for a blue color, just so I can show you it, okay? Please ignore the fact that it's sitting behind this fixed header, okay? Please ignore that. Right, um, you can also mess around with further items, padding and things like that as well. Content, you know, typography, yeah, we'll leave it as railway uh, 18 and uh, in fact, we'll make it a white text there. So I'm gonna go to this section, go to motion effects, and I'm gonna make this be a sticky at the top. As soon as I do that, it's now gone in front of my menu that I'd got over there, but ignore that. Imagine the menu was not there, okay? So that is gonna be a sticky at the top. You can see as I'm testing it now, look, it's starting to do the progress. Can you see that, right? We're getting the purple building in now, okay? Um, I mean, I could let me just tidy this up a bit. Let's just make this a full width. Uh, we're gonna have no gap at the top there. Uh, we'll update that like that. So now what we're getting is, we're getting this fixed bar going across the top. You could have it at the bottom, to be honest. It doesn't have to be completely at the top. And you could even be a little bit clever with it as well. Click on the progress tracker, go to advanced, go to positioning, and I'm gonna make the position B uh, fixed. And I could pick this up now and put it wherever I want, to be honest, but I'm just going to put it to be about there. I could, if I want, also go to custom, this is where I can actually change the entire size as well. So now I'm only gonna make this be about 290. So when I now scroll, okay, look, it's not as dramatic as what we had before because we had bigger estates. So 10% would be 10%. Here, 10% is only that much. So as we scroll up and down now, look, I'm now getting this progress tracker like on the page. And when I hit the bottom, which is there, it doesn't, all, it doesn't completely say 100%, which is a bit annoying, but it is practically there. I mean, 99%, you're near the end in effect, right? So that is a really simple way of how you can add a progress tracker um, and you could actually fix it to be present on your page in a certain way. Remember though, there were some other settings for the progress tracker. So we go to style, uh, not style, sorry, content. We could go for a circular, which is quite big, isn't it? <laughs> so let's just go over here. Let's just shrink the size down to be about there. So now as we scroll up and down, you can still see it over the white. I mean, I would say mess around with the size, don't have it too titch ski small like that. But now rather than having the bar, which is what we're traditionally used to, you could have that 
Now for the circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the width to be custom and I've shrunk it down a bit because it didn't need to be that big. In effect, it didn't need to be the whole bar. And I'm now going to set it to be on the far right. So in a private window, when we're now looking at the website, we've got our menu over there, which is fixed at the top there. And, now, and as I, oops, sorry, get my mouse right. As we scroll up and down, can you see now we've got it just under the menu? So it's not kind of on the left-hand side. You would obviously put it where you want to put it. And there we get the full 100% now. Bit weird how I didn't get that on the bar, but maybe it was just, I didn't do, properly do my setting or something. But there you go. So you can actually now have this activated on your website. And it could just be for a particular part of the page. It could be a part of the post. It could even be aligned to one of these sections or um, content. You know, you might have a gallery. So you're letting them know, look, you're near the end of the gallery now, for instance. So this is, for me, a really, really neat feature in terms of just, again, adding in useful things to your website, which just make it really, really useful. I mean, look, that looks ridiculous now. Okay, let me just put it back. Positioning. Put it on the left hand side. Let's just make it a bit bigger there as well. Okay, so this is just like a really, really cool feature for making it better for the user so they now know when they're near the end. I mean, it's dead simple and easy to use. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you soon.